sorry, I, uh... Sorry, I had a bit of a, um, an issue where the game I wanted to play wouldn't work. So, here I am, playing something else. Uh, we're going to play a game called Hotel. It's a collector's edition of an older game, I believe. I'm just going to move my microphone a little bit so we're about where we want to be. Uh, but yeah, I had a bit of a problem getting that to run. So we're going to play this instead. It's a game called Hotel, as I say. Um, it's a collector's edition, but I don't think that makes a great deal of difference to uh, to the actual storyline. I think there's just extra stuff that it has um, in that particular edition. So yeah, uh, we're going to play this instead. Uh, I wish that the game I wanted to play was working, but it isn't for some reason. So we'll work that out. We'll keep looking, keep trying to work out exactly why that happened. And hopefully eventually we will be able to play that game. But for now and for tonight, I'm just not going to talk about the, the football things. Uh, <laughs> but for, uh, for tonight, let's get straight into it. So the game we're playing is this. It's called Hotel. I'm going to put that music off. I'm going to just check over some... <coughs> Sorry, I could not get to the button in time for that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to play this game. It's called Hotel. It's like a kind of adventure game. I think you're stuck in a hotel. I don't know, something like that. Uh, just making sure all my settings are adjusted right. This light needs to be moved a little bit. I believe. That looks okay. That looks good enough anyway. Um, so yeah, let's go on with it. Let's play this game. Hotel. And maybe we'll play post-mortem another time if we can get it to work. Well, let's see what this is all about. Basically, I wanted to play like an adventure game because obviously the other day that game we tried to play failed. So hopefully this one's not so bad. Hopefully. That person uh, looks dead. They do not look like they're moving around. Oh no, I think, I think they are alive. Oh, there's movement. Must be alive. Must be alive. Come on. Phone's ringing. Oh. That's your phone. Hi, Chief. You know, this is not the Hi, best Chief. time to call me. You're interrupting the sound of the sea and the crickets. But, well, what can I do for you? Let's see what the hi, final detective. result was, was anyway. Yeah. I just wanted to say hi. Yeah, right. Listen, just the usual. I know this is not the moment, but I need you to do me a personal Just favor. the usual. I've already said case documentation. You can pick it up on the reception desk. This is very important. I need you it's to a very important case. Everything is explained in those documents. I'll turn the volume down oh, on the game just a touch. That's just great, sir. I know what your best time is. The music stopped as she carried on talking. That was weird when I clicked away. I'll personally pay for your new vacation when you're done with this. I promise. I guess I'm out of my mind. Right. Oh. I'll go. Yeah, I wish the game that I had actually wanted to play was working. The light needs to be adjusted there a bit. Also, that music sounds quite distorted. I don't know if it's supposed to be. That's a little bit better, I think. Welcome to Hotel! The short tutorial will teach you how to play the game. Very soon you'll be given a chance to explore and investigate on your own. Hopefully pretty soon, yeah. Click the continue button if you want to play the tutorial. Can I... is the tutorial... let's play the tutorial just in case there's something we're gonna miss. Hotel's an adventure game of exploration and investigation. You'll have to find items and clues, talk to the other characters and solve numerous puzzles. Aye, alright, fair enough. One of the two most important cursor shapes is the look at icon. Magnifier. This means you can click on an object item on the screen to investigate it and get some useful details. Try this now on those cardboard boxes to your right. A bunch of cardboard boxes, they say Katea office supplies. How exciting. Another important cursor is the use icon. When the cursor changes to a hand, it means you're able to pick up or use something. Items you pick up will go to your inventory. 
You can use most of the items you pick up somewhere else on the screen, but some items may, must be combined with other items in the inventory before it can be used elsewhere. To combine items in the inventory, you simply click on the first item you want to combine, and then click on the second item. I would never have guessed. When the cursor changes to the walk icon, it means you can move to approach another scene. Note the white arrow. Click below the arrow to make your character walk to the gates. Do we? I, I'm starting to think I should skip this tutorial. We'll see. Okay, great. Now click the hint button. I don't want... What? Okay, fine. Oh, look. Let's look at this. A stone lion head. These are all over the place. Seems like it might be the castle symbol. Oh, very good. I can also press enter on my keyboard to activate hints. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I can also look at the door. It's a door! Is that a hint? How am I supposed to open the door? There's two handles there. You could try turning one of them. Just my just my thoughts, you know. Uh, since it gets a lot, we don't have any solution to open them. We should use something for our inventory that we already have. Oh my god. Right, so right click on the screen, open your inventory. While we make a phone call. We phone call. Uh, boss, they're not letting me in now. Need to get my phone and get them told. Come on. Yes, what is it? Sorry to wake you, sir, but I'm having a bit of a problem. Did you solve the case? Oh, ah, yeah, I've just turned up and I've solved the fucking case already. Uh, no. Did you report to the hotel? Well, that's the problem. So you haven't done anything at all? Alright, mate, settle down. I'm trying to do my job, sir, but I can't get in the hotel. Could you call the owner and find out what's going on? Or give me their number or something? Imagine sending, imagine sending a person to do, like, an investigation or whatever it is at a hotel and not giving them the phone number for the hotel so they can call them themselves. I have to do everything around here. Fine, but don't call me again unless you have a major breakthrough on your hands, okay? Alright. Settle down, mate. Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Okay. Goodbye, Brightstone. Right, how long will it take for them to answer the door? A few minutes. Good day, I'm Detective Bridget Brightstone. I'm here on behalf of NYPD Chief Inspector Sam McLeod. Ah, yes, he just called. I apologize for the inconvenience. Please come in, Miss Brightstone. Don't mind if I do. Approach the fountain. Oh, what are they saying? There you are, I've been looking for you. Give me the keys to the basement. Wow. Excuse me, Miss Brightstone. I'm sorry, but I can't help you, Detective Matisse. I've been looking for the keys, but it seems somebody lost them. I've been unable to find them anywhere. A likely story, mate. A likely story. How do you expect me to do my job when you... Yes. And you are? Detective Bridget Brightstone. NYPD. But please, call me Biggie. New York Police. You're a bit out of your jurisdiction, miss. I was called in to be part of a joint investigation. The missing necklace? Why would NYPD be interested in this case? Well, first of all, I was on a vacation nearby. Secondly, my superior asked me to do this as a personal favour to him. I see. Well, since you're not here on official police business, I'd like you to stay out of my way. And sorry, I just battered my desk there. <laughs> Why so hostile? I'm here to help. To help? How arrogant can you people get? Wait just a fucking second. <laughs> We don't need your help. We can deal with this on our own. Now, if you excuse me, I have some real police to do, police work to do. Imagine call, imagine him calling a person arrogant, mate. Like in what? Like in what? <laughs> okay, so there's a key missing. We need to find the key. So what have we got? What's that? Something sparkling there. The ground sparkles to tell me there's a clue. There's an old, there's an old looking iron key in there. Hmm. Stuck too deep to be reached by hand. Oh, is it? Alright, so... What's that? What else can be used to reach something? Oh, some gardening tools, can we use them? No. What's in my inventory? There's nothing to reach into a small hole, I don't think. Is there anything over here? May as well try and find a way to get whatever that is. A 
that's the hotel entrance. I don't want to go in yet if there's something here that... Copper wire. I'll have that. I could make like a little hook out of a bit of wire maybe. I'm not seeing anything else about. Let's try it. I think that's the key that the guy was looking for. I think it is. Let's see, where's that bit? Odd looking iron key. Yeah, can we... Use that on there, maybe. I mean, I feel like you know you can make like a make like a hook, and maybe just hook it out of the hole. Well, hi, there we go. Look, I actually have to move it myself. Wait, why is it not? Aha! Well, that wasn't easy. Well, I mean, it was relatively easy. So, what is that key? Do we do we know the basement key? It tells me straight away. I don't even know what key it is, but... Okay. Well, let's just go in and get settled into the hotel. I think. Try, anyway. We'll try. Inside. Chat to the lad up, the, up at the uh, counter. You alright, mate? The butler. He did it. Whatever happened, he did it. Now let's get you settled in. Do you care about the view? Do you have any special requests for the room? I'm sure we can accommodate all your wishes. I really don't care about the room, but I'd like you to fill me in on the latest information. No problem. Sam told me to share any information of importance with you when you arrive. Sam? You mean Chief Inspector Sam McLeod? Yes, I was the one who asked for you. Well, I asked for help, and uh, he sent you. You see, Sam and I are old friends. What's the story here? I mean, what's going on? Two nights ago, a valuable necklace was stolen. The peculiar thing is that the owner of that necklace is in a coma now. I mean, yeah, okay. What? The woman who wore the necklace was uh, found unconscious the day after. Later, we learned that she checked in with false documents. Nobody knows who she is. Nobody knows who is she, but we'll ignore that. Or where she came from. Where is she now? Doctors came and took her to the nearest hospital, but we've no further information, I'm afraid. Although, according to her last will, she didn't want any special medical treatment. So I guess they keep her alive, but I'm not sure she'll ever awake from her coma. Well, why would they... Alright, okay. She had a last will? At the hotel? <laughs> She's like, oh, can you look after my will for me, please? That's a bit suspicious, mate. <laughs> Seems so. So what do you need me for? Things started to sound rather fishy around here, so I called Sam and asked for advice. He once told me about you and your expertise in, mm, well, paranormal stuff. You see, there's some very strange things going on in this hotel. I've seen them myself. Well, how nice is Sam that he talks about me, but please let me investigate a bit first and then I can tell you what I think about your paranormal stuff, okay? No offence, but 99% of paranormal stuff turns out to be pretty normal stuff in the end. I understand, detective. However, I'm glad you're here. What's with the grumpy detective? Well, you know, there has to be one. If there's a happy detective in the game, there has to be a grumpy one. Unfortunately, you met Matisse on one of his bad days. Oh, so he's not always like this? Oh, he is. But when he's in a good mood, he usually just ignores people. He's the district resident detective. He was relocated here after a situation in Paris. I see. Will he help me? Not willingly. You should know that he's isolated a couple of rooms and proclaimed them crime scenes, so you won't have access to them. But then my arrival's pointless. How am I supposed to investigate if Matisse is blocking my way? Sam told me you were resourceful. You'll have to be smart about Matisse. Where are all the guests? Most of them left after the robbery. Those who remained are good friends of the owner's wife. There are also several reporters around, you know, looking for an exciting story. I'm really tired from the trip. Can I go to my room? By all means, the key is there. Room 27. Have a pleasant night. You're leaving? I am indeed. Oh, sorry. I'm needed. Elsewhere. But don't be a stranger. Take the key and have a good night. Goodbye. Well, if he's elsewhere, how can I not be a stranger? Oh, before I leave, please take this. It's a hotel memento. We give this to all our guests. Fuck is it? Oh, thank you. I have to look in my inventory to find out what he gave me. What's the memento? 
Oh look, it's a crappy lion. How exciting. Alright, so which way did I go to get to my room, I wonder? Can I look at the key? That's the basement. Where's my room key? Where's my room key? Here, he didn't give me a key for my room. That's a fax machine. Who still uses a fax machine? Is, did he leave it on the counter? Where's my key? Here. Do I have to get it myself? Wait, that's my room key. I'll just, just pick your own room key, aye? Yeah? Room 27, he said, so yeah, that'll be my key. Oh yeah, just help yourself to your key. <laughs> Fair enough. 27. Let's have a look at these. Uh, can we look at anything here? Or you could press enter and like see all the different uh, hint areas. So the only thing we can do here is the room is locked. Well, I think back for that, eh? We don't want it to be unlocked. That would be uh, troubling, I think. Doors unlocked and we're in. Okay. What do we have around here? Anything interesting? Just do that. Look at this. This looks like a suitable place for my laptop. Alright, okay. I have a fire alarm in my room. Great. I feel so safe now. Yeah, if the fire's outside your door, it's not going to be much fucking use to you, is it? What else have we got? A wardrobe. A massive wooden closet. I hope there are no moths in there. Me too, huh? Oh, a royal bed. I can't wait to slip into it. Haha. -ha. A royal bed. What's this? I should unpack first. Better to leave the suitcase and the laptop here. Okay. Um, well, suitcase, you should probably stick it in the wardrobe then, right? Stick it in the closet, out of the way. You can unpack it later. There we go. And she said the laptop can go on the table, so laptop. Table says, gives you a laptop. And there's the laptop. Uh, sometimes you'll get an email when you see the new email indicator that will appear during the game. Return here and check your laptop. You can also send photos from your inventory to your friend Javi by using them on this laptop. Javi. Alright, okay. So that's that. So, yeah, that's what happens with your laptop. Um, so I guess that's all we can do right now. Should we go back out and see what's going on? We've got our camera with us, though, at all times, so that's good. Alright, uh, down the stairs. So let's see what's around, anything else around in this hotel. Can we move out of here? Well, let's chat to him. Is that the detective? He's going to be grumpy, no doubt. Knight armor. Shiny medieval armor. Impressive. I wonder what it feels like to be inside one of these. Probably pretty claustrophobic, I would imagine. Did I see a hand symbol? Use a box of matches. I'll have that. I'll have that, thanks. One box of matches. Let's see what he's got to say. Good evening, detective. Oh, you're still here. In that case, I don't see anything good coming of this evening. Haha. <laughs> How charming of you. Any news on the case? No, there's a fax waiting for me, but the machine's broken, I guess. Well, it's not bloody waiting for you then, is it? Did you call someone for the repairs? Are you aware that we're in the middle of nowhere? Look, do as I do. Sit and wait. Well, that's a great way to investigate, mate. You can't, you can't keep your notes in your fucking head, no. And do nothing. Whatever rocks your boat. Floats your boat, mate. Floats. What can you tell me about the owner? That superstitious fool. He's truly scared. The hotel might be haunted by ghosts or something. Go figure. You don't like people, do you? How perceptive of you. There's nothing to tell, really. The owner, Mr. Greenleaf, is one of those wimpy men blessed with good business sense. Alright, mate. A hotel in the middle of nowhere doesn't seem like a good asset. This entire place here is his wife's. I mean, a hotel in the middle of nowhere isn't a good asset. Like, people don't like to go to hotels that are away from everything else in what looks like a bloody castle. Of course they do. He just manages it from time to time. She's the owner. Can I speak to her? 
She's not here. She'll be back in a few days. A few? There goes my vacation. What about the girl in a coma? Do you know anything about her? No, she used a false name to register and had no personal documents on her. That's why I'm waiting for that fax. I see. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Look, you're here unofficially, right? Well, yes, but... So stop annoying me so much. And don't even try getting into the rooms I marked as restricted. Remember that this is official police business and you're out of your jurisdiction. Oh, gee, thanks. Fuck you then, mate. Enjoy reading the paper while you wait for a fax machine to be repaired when nobody knows it needs to be bloody repaired, mate. Maybe I should go fix your fax machine for you so you might go away, yeah. How'd I get out of this area? Well, maybe we need to go and have a look at this fax machine. Do we know what the fax machine needs? Can I fix the fax machine? This must be the broken fax machine. Yeah, okay. But do I need Do I need a fax? Right, so there were some tools outside. Maybe we can use... Maybe there's some tools we can use outside. Do you think? Uh, let me think. Where... Gardening tools. Well, gardening tools aren't going to be much use for, uh, for fixing a fax machine, I don't think. But if we can pick them up, I'll have them. An axe. Right, let's go and kill him with the axe. And then we can go in whatever room we want. No? Alright, well let's try outside, because we didn't really look at much outside. What's in these boxes? Can we have a look? Maybe there's some stuff in these boxes. What's that? Toilet roll. Fax paper! See if, see if, see if he thinks, right, that the fax machine's broken because it's out of fucking paper. Wouldn't surprise me, actually. Yeah. But see if that's the only reason that he can't get in. That or they can't get his bloody fax. That'll be absolutely ridiculous. At least I can kind of double click things to go places quickly. Well, not the axe. What we should do is once the fax comes through, steal it and then like just hack the fax machine with an axe. Seems like it just needs its paper roll replaced. Oh, my timing was perfect. A fax is arriving. I'll have that. Thank you. Oh, what? We've got two. I made a copy for myself. Patient Jane Doe, age unknown. Patient arrived at the clinic in a comatose state. Found in a state of deserberate rigid rigidity. Arms are bent at the elbows and her hands are clenched in fists against the chest. Legs are rigid and have scissored from spasms. The patient is unable to move from this position due to the coma. A moderate brain injury typically corresponds with an individual who's suffered a loss of consciousness for 30 minutes or more. There are notable physical or cognitive impairments which may or may not resolve over time. She's uh, height 63 minus 1 slash 2. What? 63 and a half, what inches? Oh, 63 and a half inches. So what's that about? Part 8. I don't care. <laughs> 12 times 4 would be 48. 60 would be 5 foot. So what, about 5 foot 1, 5 foot 2 thereabouts? Weight is 178 pounds, pulse 60. Blood pressure 106 over 72. Skin, no suspicious legion, legions. Heant. Eyes. Pupils are equal and non-reactive to light. Neck. No adenopathy, adenopathy. Thyromegaly or bruits. Chest, lungs are clear to auscultation and percussion. Cardiac examination shows normal S1 and S2 without S3, 4 or murmur. Bowel sounds are active. No hepatosplenomegaly. Yay, tenderness or masses are noted. No clubbing, cyanosis or edema. Pulses 2 plus and regular without brutes. brutes. So that is a fax. Now, we're going to give him his fax. 
seems like we've got a copy of the fax as well, so don't tell that arsehole that we stole a bit of his fax. Just the fax, man. Just the fax. We'll give him the original. Here, there you go, pal. Look, I fixed the fax machine. Next time you, next time you uh, have problems getting a fax, maybe check the paper. Did I give it to him? Why would why would he want the fax? Why why would he want his fax? I don't know. Why would he want his fax? Good question. Your fax has arrived. Splendid. Hmm. Perhaps you're not so stupid after all. Well, thanks. But remember, stay away from the restricted area and the wine cellar. I still have to investigate it. By the way, have you seen the cellar key, perhaps? Uh, no, mate, I haven't. Sorry. Uh, no. I'll let you know if I do. Stay away from this room that no one can get into. See you, detective. Prick. <laughs> uh, let's see what's up these other stairs, because we've been that way. That's our room. So what's this way? Now oh, we've got three rooms. That's the restaurant. That's the owner's office. So the only room we can go into here is the basement hall. And we're going to go straight into the room that he didn't want us to go into. Are we? Uh, locked door. No luck. It's locked. Oh, what else is there? I need to just have a look and see if there's any other doors. I don't know, is that the door that we need? Or... It's really dark, I should try getting the lights working. Okay, well let's have a look then. Can I just do that, or is it gonna... No, okay. So we need to flip the switches in the right order. I was hoping maybe it was as easy as that, but no. Yes! Perhaps I missed my calling. I'm good at repairing fuse... I don't think that's how you repair fuse boxes, to be honest. You don't just flip all the switches up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. Hmm. Now let's go down. Alright, what have we got here? We've got this. A small forklift. Maybe I can manage to lug it around. Yeah, stick it in your pocket. <laughs> Where are you storing that exactly? Right, let's have that wrench. I didn't actually think she would put that in her pocket. Like, really? Okay, well that's... The, so we found a wrench as well. That's a li at least a little more sensible. But here we got this in our pocket, so that's alright. Oh yeah, uh, basement key on that door. The te detective will probably come along and catch us. Yeah. Let's go! What's, what are we going to find in there? What's this? A cutscene of some kind. Is that a ghost? Is that the supernatural stuff that he was talking about earlier? What are you up to, mate? You alright? Oh no, it's the devil. Oh! Maybe it is a ghost! Just disappeared through the wall! Oh my god, what was that? Looks like he disappeared into that barrel over there. Well, let's have a look at this table. Who cares about that? Sure, that was a bit weird, but... What's this paper all about? Let's have it. Let's have the paper first. What are they? Plain paper. That's how he couldn't get his fax earlier. Right, so I saw that thing. Saw that thing fly in here. Maybe we can hack, break the a the barrel or something. Hack the a barrel apart. That's it. It's the worst swing of an axe I've ever seen. Eventually, though... Oh, what's this? A nut. The historical counterpart of a wrench. Right, so I take it we've got to use the wrench to take the nuts off. 
Right, but he disappeared into the wall, not just not just this. Looks like he might be concealing something that seems suspicious. Can I use this on it? I'm not sure how I got it underneath. When you uncover something and don't know what to do with it, try taking a photo and then use the photo on the laptop. Biggie will send a photo to her friend. Yeah, all right, fair enough. So we've got to take a photo of that, eh? There. Yeah, there. That's exactly where it is. Right. Um, so I suppose we want to just go and put that into our, into our laptop then straight away. I don't know if that really helps anyone, mind you. Here's where the detective comes along. He's like, you got into that room, didn't you? No. I'm not telling him anything. He's not going to help me, so why should I help him? Stick that in the laptop. I think you just stick it in the laptop. You don't mess around. There, send that to my geek friend, Zavi. He's on into the occult. I'm sure he'll know what this is all about. Well, he might. He might have absolutely no idea. So I guess we've got to wait until we get like a message saying we've got an email. The CD drive stopped working already. Two months old and the CD drive stopped working. You don't need CDs. Right, let's see what's up this way because there's more to this hall. There's more to this hall. It goes around the corner and everything. So you can't double click to go somewhere until you've been there by the look of things. Statue, I'm not a big fan of art, but this looks more Roman than medieval. Oh, he looks like his eyes are missing or something. That's exciting. Is there anything to see here apart from that? A stone lion head. Castle symbol. Yeah, we get it. I don't think there's anywhere we can actually go there, is there? No. Yeah, great. Can we leave? How did I get out? Oh, because my inventory's open, it stops me seeing. I see... What about the other way? There must be more rooms the other way then. As it stands, we're just kind of going back and forth. Oh, hello. Knock, knock, knock. Hi, can you let me in for a while? I'd really like to see the crime scene. No, at least not yet. I need to bag and tag all the evidence. But then I won't be able to do anything. Not my problem. When I work, I work by regulations. Yeah, exactly. So he's getting all the evidence out. How are we gonna? How are we gonna do that? Here, what if we? This smoke detector means something. Can I set fire to the papers? Maybe. Set off the fire alarm so then everyone has to go outside. That was exactly what she's gonna do. So. Yay, hold it up. All that dark smoke is going to do the job for us. And look, he's running. He's away. He's not very clever, is he? I think he'd realise that I just asked him, can I come in here? Okay. Okay, well, let's see what we can find out. What's this? There's a pillow that we can move. Or pick up. Maybe we can keep it. Oh, what's that underneath? A digital camera? Yoink! <laughs> Some pictures on the memory card. Seems like Matisse hasn't found the camera yet. I should analyse it using my laptop. Well, you know, if he hasn't found it yet, then it's not uh, its not evidence, right? Doesn't seem like he's very good at his job if, uh, if he didn't find it. If he didn't move the pillow to see if there was a bloody camera underneath. Well, let's see if we can get the, the images downloaded onto the laptop then. Hmm, a photo of two young women. I guess the one wearing the massive necklace is the girl in the coma. Aye, okay. Cool, is that it? Knock, knock. Who is it? Good evening, Mrs. Br Miss Brightstone. Can I come in? It's Greenleaf. Yes, please come in. Who the hell's Greenleaf? So, were you able to settle down yet? Oh, aye, yeah, absolutely. Yes, thank you. Your staff has been very kind. Good, good. I apologise for all the inconvenience. But since the robbery, it's been chaotic here. Half the guests left, and the other half asked for their money back. Really? All because of the robbery? No, all because of that incompetent Matisse. He's been harassing my guests since he arrived. Can't you get rid of him? 
I'm afraid not. My wife wants him here for some reason. Probably because she wanted a useless detective to do the work so that she wouldn't get caught doing something. Does your wife know I'm here? No, I'll tell her when she arrives, and trust me, she won't be happy. What's with all the flickering lights? Oh, you notice, we've been having some electrical problems lately. I think the fire alarm's also broken. Did you hear it? Uh, yeah. Well, we looked and we searched, but there was no fire, so I guess everything's slowly but steadily falling apart. No fire. Fire. Terrible. Center descent hold? What did you say? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Just some old poem my mother used to tell me. Well, if there's nothing else I can do for you, I'd like to excuse myself and be my guest, mate. Till tomorrow. Goodbye, Detective Brightstone. Sleep well. Oh, I'm going to sleep, am I? I don't get a choice in that matter. I guess I'll go to sleep now. A long day awaits me tomorrow. Aye, fair enough. Guess we're going straight to sleep then. During the night... I don't get anything but some sleep. What's going on? hell am I? I know, that's weird, isn't it? Looks like you're in your room, but it's not your room. It's very odd. Oh, who's this? A guy wandering down the hall? Looks like he's got half armour and half, like, modern clothing on. Guess we'll follow him. He went that way, didn't he? Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, mate, come back. Where are you going now? Just went through the wall. It's a dream we're having, but still. Oh, now it's got eyes, look. Now it's got eyes. Didn't have eyes before. Wakey, wakey. I have an email in my inbox. Cool, let's have a look at it. Let's see the email. Javi salutes you. I managed to learn something about that strange symbol. It actually represents a water-based lock that was used in Egypt to seal specific rooms in the pharaoh's quarters. The trick was to pour in just enough water to fill specific holes in the lock. After doing so, the lock would open. Usually these locks were put on special rooms for court priests and rituals that might require heavily sealed doors. During the centuries, this type of lock completely disappeared from normal use, except in rare cases of cults and occult rituals. What did you stumble upon, B? Anyway, as far as I can see, the lock can be opened by pouring a certain liquid on it. I'm not sure what kind of liquid is needed. I'm afraid it has to be a specific type. For example, if regular water opens the lock, no other liquid will. Is it wine or something, maybe? Would wine do it, do you think? Who knows? Uh, what else do we have? Anything of interest? Oh, there's something here. Candles. Did I get a candle? Oh, nice, we got a candle. Right, I think we should go and look at that room, that, that hall that we uh, that we walked down. See what the hell was going on down there. Daytime now, so it may be quite nice. I could ask if we can get a, a walk around the grounds. Well, let's see, can we look closer at the eyes on this on this thing? So it has no eyes. I think there's an eye missing. Looks like there's an eye missing. Well, we don't have any eyes here. So I guess we need to find the eyes for this statue. Well, let's go down and see what's uh, see what's happening. What's this? What are these boxes all about? This box is locked. I wonder what's inside. The lock will not open just like that. All right. What have we got around? Paper clips. Oh, hello. Paper clips, you know what that means. We're gonna pick a lock, probably. <laughs> I guess. Come on, are you good at lock, lock picking? Ooh, what's this? One down, one more to go. Okay. Fine. I have to do both. It's like Egyptian tablets or something. What strange looking tablets with Egyptian writing on them? I guess this must be pretty ancient. You better be careful. It's just the same thing again with the other tablet. Okay. Can I take a picture of them, maybe? I better send this friend to my friend. I better send this friend to my photo, Javi. That's the wrong bloody way, isn't it? No. Up there. Bit fiddly at times. Right, stick that photo. Those photos, whatever. Stick those on the computer. More photos to find out what they're all about. 
I guess then we should just kind of go to it. Okay, now I wait for him to reply again, yeah. We understand. Let's see what's going on outside. Nobody's inside, so... Why can't I? Oh, a ladder. I'll stick that in my pocket. Don't worry, I think the forklift's gone now. Hope nobody notices the ladder's missing. Well, you know, if if they do, it won't be too difficult to work out uh, to work out who's got it. That's all those tools that we don't need access to. What's over here? Looks like a little dining area. Anything to look at? No, not a thing. Uh, this way. Door that way is locked. Okay, well we don't need to go outside because there's nothing outside. What about this way? What about the basement? Can we go back to the basement maybe, see if there's anything else? Surely, right? The that lock, that kind of weird lock, is in is in the wine cellar. So surely the liquid you need to use on it is the wine, right? Surely. But we need to work out which one. There's wine racks over there, so I guess we can walk over and see. Hmm. A bottle of wine. Does it, does it matter which wine? A particular type of wine? The game probably only gives me one, let's be honest. Okay, let's try it. It's got to be wine. It's in a wine cellar. Right, so it has to be wine. A hole in the ground? Is this a hidden chamber or something? Perhaps there's a way to get down there. Yeah, there's this thing you picked up, right? It's called a ladder. Oh, I'm not going down there without some light. It's too dark. Alright, fine. Light the candle then. Alright, we have light. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a candle. Oh, look. All sorts of stuff around here. What's that? Bit of a suit of armour there. Small chest. Well, I guess we just stick it in our pocket. Okay. What's that? A hammer? Just looks like a bit of metal. I'll have that too. Oh. Not even my grandma would plant flowers in, flowers in a vase as ugly as this one. Alright. Oh, hmm. Well, maybe we can smash the vase. Maybe there's something in it. What did we get from that? Did we get anything? A key? Or what? Oh, it could be for... Oh, a chest key. And it has to be for the chest then, right? What's hiding inside? A blue crystal! Ooh! I would assume that that's probably for the uh, statue. How do we get out of here? Okay, so that was all that was down there, just that stuff. Fair enough. That must be for the statue, right? Has to be for the statue. Has to be. Maybe we should just go there. Just go right to where the statue is. Stick one of these in its eye and see what happens. We're going to get all the evidence out of here before that guy even knows that it's open. Up there. Over there. It's much easier that you can double click and just go to everywhere. Here you go, look, here's a here's a thing for you. It's a crystal. A perfect fit. Now, dear statue. What did that say? Now that's better. Okay, but we still need another we still need another eye then, surely. Let's go down here now. See if we can find anyone to talk to down here. Oh, there's the there's the lad, the butler guy, look. See what he's got to say now. Oh, Detective Brightstone, there you are. I was looking for you. I was just looking around. I didn't touch those boxes, I swear. I'm relieved to hear that. Those boxes are private, you know. I think he was the guy in the red robe. Of course I do. They just seem so unusual that I had to look. For the sake of the investigation, of course, I understand. Glad we're on the same page. So? So? You said you wanted to talk to me? Oh, right, I'm sorry. Uh, distractions are happening all over this place. I need to go buy some supplies and I'll return tomorrow. He's just buggering off again. Where are you going? For supplies and you'll come back tomorrow. 
There's a small village nearby. I should be able to get some supplies there. Unfortunately, that means leaving the hotel unguarded. I don't think you have to worry with all the French and American police around. Of course you're right, Miss Biggie. Oh, there are two more things I have to tell you before I leave. Please do. Mr. Grinley fast for you. He's in his office. He made it sound urgent, so I'd encourage you to visit him as soon as possible. Right, fair enough. No problem, I also want to talk to him. And the other thing? Oh yes, well this is a bit embarrassing for me, because it's just speculation. But I don't trust Matisse. Well, do you not? No. I don't think anyone does, really. Why'd you say that? I've seen his so-called investigating. I'd swear that man's all show and no work. Well, he didn't find a camera in the room. Are you sure? He seemed quite serious about this case. I know, this is just a feeling I have, an innocent suspicion, if you will. Okay, did you tell anyone else about your suspicions? No. Then let's keep it that way. I'll check on him, and if anything's off, I'll get back to you. Thank you very much for your discretion. Now I really need to leave. Goodbye. And he's off, again. Is this guy ever going to be here, do you think? Alright, so the owner's office. That oh, must be there, right? Yeah, go to the owner's office. Yeah. A new door has opened, so let's discuss stuff with green leaf. Is there anything in here that we can have before we... Uh... Not really. Let's chat to him then. Come in, it's open. Mr. Greenleaf, I was told you were asking to see me. Oh yes, please. Please come in, sit or stand. Just make yourself comfortable. I have some delicate matters to discuss with you. Do you? Delicate matters about the missing necklace? Not exactly, something else. But you have to be patient. This is uh, isn't easy for me. Is it not, I? What's not easy? Are you alright? But my wife, I expect this will be our last chance to talk before she arrives. Why do you say that? I plan on being here tomorrow. It's not the issue, you see. My wife and I, we have a strange relationship. Suddenly, I'm not sure I want to be a part of this conversation anymore. Miss Brightstone, I would never, and to think you would assume that I... Well, frankly, that's unacceptable. I'm sorry, I obviously misunderstood. Please continue. My wife has some unusual hobbies, but I'm afraid you'll call me a lunatic if I told you about them. Well, it depends. If you're going to tell me she's the Grand Wizard of Satan and that she travels through time, I might have a hard time believing you. Oh, nothing like that, especially not the Satan part. But the wizard thing, well, I'd rather call it sorcery. Sorcery? As in magic wands, scars on the forehead, and flying broom matches. Oh, what could she be talking about? What? No, are you mocking me, detective? Oh, I apologise. I didn't mean to insult you, but really, sorcery... Very well, you don't have to believe me. I'm just asking you to keep your eyes open and to trust that gut feeling you get sometimes when strange things occur. Well, I don't think I'm following you, mate. Do you happen to see anything strange during your stay here? Strange in what way? Well, people have been complaining about unexplained noises during the night and quite a few have told us they'd seen a ghost. A ghost? And this has been happening for a while? You don't seem surprised, Miss Brightstone. Did you see one too? I can't believe I'm about to admit this, but something strange did happen to me. I assumed I was dreaming, but last night I did see a ghost after I went to bed. But you aren't really sure you weren't dreaming. That's why I'm not dismissing your claims as nonsense. I had a strong sense that I was still awake, and I had an even stronger feeling that I should follow the ghost and see what it wanted. And did you follow it? No, don't answer that. I don't need to know certain things. What if I followed a bloody ghost? Oh, no, don't tell me that. Did you put your shoes on this morning? Well, you can see I did. Oh yeah, don't tell me that. No, it's okay, I'd like to tell someone. Detective, please, the less I know the better. Believe me, when I say that I cannot be trusted. I read that very strangely. That sounds more peculiar than my ghost story. Are you alright? Is someone threatening you? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that whenever I'm with my wife, my will seems to wither and disappear. And then I become like an open book to her. So trust me, the less I know, the better. Better for you or for me? I'm afraid it's for both of us, Miss Brightstone. So you think your wife's a sorceress and that she holds an uncontrollable grip on you. On top of that, there are ghosts in the hotel. And everything's connected. Can't be serious. What are you expecting me to do? I'm not sure. Just keep your eyes open and please be sure nothing happens to my wife. Here, if you've got a feeling that this detective that his wife wanted must be one of her little cult group or whatever. To her, I'm surprised I got the feeling you don't like your wife. No, that's not true. However, it's just that sometimes I'm a little afraid of her. So is there anything else you'd like to share? 
Only that I want you to take care and to know that the unlocked room next to her next door is her office. What the the basement? And you want me to Whatever's necessary for the well being of my wife in this hotel. I thought the next room was was the restaurant. Or the box is a reception. All those I've no idea. Uh, they came from Cairo. I think my wife told me something about them. But I can't remember the details. My memory isn't what it was 20 years ago. That's okay. You've been a great help. Thank you for the heads up. Or is some kind of magic on you that makes it impossible to remember. It's part of my job to listen to questions. Goodbye. Yeah, all right. See you later, mate. You're off, are you? Oh, he's left me in his office all on my own. Look, Let's see if there's anything here. Oh, there's a wee letter opener. I can have that. I'll have that. A wee letter opener. Small statue of a horse. Looks heavy. Could this be made of platinum? Could be. Let's steal it. No, I'm not stealing it. No, that's a shame. I'm just gonna adjust my volume very slightly. There we go. Uh, right. So I think he was suggesting that I should go to his wife's office. Don't you? Which I assume must be this door. Go to the owner's wife's office, yeah. So what, he wanted me to go in here? It seemed like he did, didn't it? Okay, what have we got here? We've got... A mirror with a wee spindle on it. I don't know if I should be drawing these. Maybe I need to draw these. Should we draw these? Just to... Just to... Just so that we know... What they are. Uh, that'll do order this pen. So what have we got? We've got a triangle. Oh, this pen it is working, okay. A wee triangle with kind of other triangles in the bottom corners. Kind of a bit there with a circle in the middle and then two more lines above that. So do the other mirrors have something similar? Because it seems like it doesn't seem like I can do anything with it. Do the other mirrors have similar things? Is that just the same symbol again? Yeah, it is. What about the ones on the other side then? Do they have anything on them? Do you think? These must be... You must have to do something with these. Surely. I mean... It's got like a got like a thing but look you can't you can't do anything what else do we have is there anything else of interest that's those right can we look at anything else is that the same thing yeah I feel like I've missed something here so those are those all those symbols are there Anything else of interest? Oh, something above the windows. Golden symbols near the ceiling. Looks like small triangles. Ah. Well, can we take a closer look at them then? Oh, but look. Okay, so it's right up, down, right. How does that help me, I wonder? I suppose it might mean something. Let's have a look at the desk. A desk drawer seems to be locked. Not for long. Not for long. Come on, Jimmy, open with your uh, with your knife. There we go. So this. Oh, there's little. There's, is there little balls? Oops. I can't close the drawer. That's not good. So what did we have in our inventory there? Little white marbles. That must be surely. That must be something to do with this, right? It has the wee hole in it, which would take a marble. Oh, would you look at that? Well, now I wonder. So that's. It was right. That one is supposed to go up. Up. And then probably, well that one's got to be right as well then, and that one's down. We'll try it and we'll see what happens. It has to be this though, right? 
and down. One more marble. It's done something. Am I good or what? Hmm, a secret safe opened behind one of the mirrors. What have we got in here? A scroll, some books, something about Egyptian culture, architecture and rituals. What's that? A leather bag with some coloured marbles inside. Looks interesting. Pyramids with Egyptian symbols all over them. These are pretty. I'd love to have one as a decoration. So she's got some sort of Egyptian situation going on in here. I don't know what it is. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so... Double click to zoom in. So we've got five marbles. Green, purple, red, blue and yellow. Are they going to be important, do you think? I don't know. Alright, well let's let's go out. We don't need to be in here anymore. And we probably don't need to be in here anymore either. Oh! Detective! Detective's here! Detective's here! Hello, Inspector! What are you doing here, Detective? I was just passing by. If it's too much to ask, I'd like you to proceed to the ballroom immediately. I was going to do like a big Columbo-style reveal. Why? What happened? Everything's perfect! I solved the case. And we'll share my findings with everyone in the ballroom. I wasn't. I only got here yesterday. With everyone? The reporters, it's my job to make sure there's no foul play in the hotel and that all its guests and employees are safe. Alright, Columbo, settle down. What did you find out? I will not spoil my findings here. Go to the ballroom to find out. Spoil? This is not a movie, detective. What did you find out? All in good time, but tell me something. I was passing near Mr. Greenleaf's office just a few minutes ago and I thought I heard your voice. Yeah, he was talking to him. He asked me to come in. I heard interrogate him. You were supposed to ask me for his statement. No, I wasn't. I can ask my own questions here, thanks. If you won't spoil the ending of your investigation, then I'll find out for myself. I see. Well, if that's the way we're going to play, then let's play. Yeah, I don't care, mate. You're a prick. Looks like we're going, we're going here anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll keep this short. I've found the necklace and solved the alleged crime that occurred here. Right. As it turns out, the necklace merely fell out the window, and it was found in a bush nearby. As for the girl in the coma, well, that's something the good doctors in Paris will have to work on. I consider this case closed. So, have you got the necklace? Can we see it? Thank you for your time. Was that really it? Something tells me you can't be bothered. Detective Matisse, may I have a word with you? What is it now? Do you think this is all just a bit too convenient? The necklace is found under the window, and the coma is dismissed as a regular illness. Do you think there's more to it? As far as you and I are concerned, Detective, this whole case was just one big misunderstanding. And there's no need to stay here any longer, so how did someone end up in a coma? You're leaving? As soon as I write my report and finish some other paperwork, I presume you'll be leaving tomorrow too. No, well, fuck, mate, I don't think you solved the case. Oh yes, of course, if you say the case is closed, I must attend to my own bureaucratic duties and then I'll leave. We can go together if you want. What? No, I mean, there's no need. I'd be leaving early in the morning. Besides, I don't like you. I'd hate being stuck together in some train chit-chatting about the weather. I think he's intended to go away and come back. Oh, heaven forbid, I would never dare to chit-chat with you, detective. Fucking right. Are you mocking me? I would never. Actually, I am. Goodbye. Hope I never see you again. Man. You too. <laughs> what a prick. What an absolute prick this lad is. Oh, we've got a new email. Good. Fuck him. Let's go and uh, read, read our emails. There's some other, there's something else going on here, though. I'm sure there's something else going on here. Let's find out. Let's read our next email. Javi salutes you. At first I thought those tablets were ordinary tourist trinkets from Egypt, but I scanned the whole artifact database and couldn't find any trace of them anywhere. Strange, if you ask me. What I do know is that they're definitely from Egypt. I can't pinpoint the age from the photos, but I think at least according to the scripture that they belong somewhere between the 12th and 13th dynasty. That means they're like 17 to 1800 years old. I don't understand their purpose, but I can tell you one thing. Those things have never been seen by the public eye, and if they're real, they'd get a mighty price on the black market. Hope I helped. You probably did a wee bit, aye. Let's see what this is all about. Biggie, hello. Are you there? No need to yell, boss. I can hear you. Glad you didn't forget the time difference. Yes, I asked my secretary to tell me when it's appropriate to call. I also got some news from the Paris Interpol that told me the case has been solved. Is that true? Well, sir, Detective Matisse believes he solved it. 
but you think there's more to it. In moments like these, I'm proud to call myself your mentor. Oh, please, sir. Anyway, I wish to keep the case open a bit longer, if that's alright with you. Of course, I trust you. Keep me posted if you find anything peculiar. Well, I already have, but... Peculiar? Like what? Hello? He hung up. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Well, we, what's happening now? We're going to sleep again or something. What's... Oh, yeah, it must be a new morning. A new morning has, aris has arrived. Right, let's go downstairs and see what's going on down there then. We need to find something else to put in the eye of that uh, that thing as well. Oh, you're back, pal. How's it going? Did you manage to do all the stuff you needed to do, eh? Did you sleep well? Again. We barely did anything that day. Sleep? Well, no, I was awake most of the whole night, and then I finally managed to fall asleep. I had vivid dreams that left me feeling even more tired than before. I'm sorry to hear that. Would you like some tea? I'm fine, I just need to walk it off. Excellent. Mrs Greenleaf's asking for you. She's waiting for you in the restaurant. In the restaurant. Did she mention why? She's wanting to tell you to get lost. I'm afraid not, but she knows about the talk you had with Mr Greenleaf. I overheard them in the hallway. Can I talk to Mr Greenleaf before I visit his wife? I'm afraid Mr Greenleaf's unavailable at the moment. He's dead. He's a bit tied up. He went out. I don't know. Mrs Greenleaf told me he's unavailable for the time being. What does that mean? I'll have to ask her. Anything else I should know? She's in the restaurant, so that was up the stairs, I think, wasn't it? Well, if you can speak, if I can speak freely, Mrs. Greenleaf's in a terrible mood this morning, so I suggest you tread lightly. Probably because fucking Matisse lied. Understood. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, I guess we're going to the restaurant then. If I remember right, there was a left-hand door up here, wasn't it? There's a left-hand door up here. Yeah. The other two doors are now shut. We can't go to the basement, and we can't go to his office or her office here she is mrs a greenleaf she's a green leaf very nice good morning i was told you wanted to see me good morning detective my name is atia greenleaf i must ask you to leave this hotel immediately i don't think i like the tone of your voice mrs greenleaf i don't give a flying fuck it's my hotel <laughs> detective i don't care all i know is that when i returned i found my hotel in chaos guests were leaving right and left and two different police agencies were questioning and harassing everybody where well, i didn't bloody harass anyone and for what a girl that got sick you explain everything please calm down do not tell me to calm down you have no jurisdiction here and i want you out now listen to me atia this is a joint operation if that is your real name this is a joint operation between our countries. One phone call and this could turn into a diplomatic disaster. Surely you don't want your hotel to be dragged into that. How dare you threaten me in my hotel? I'm working here on a case. I'll finish my investigation and then leave. Is that understood? You'll finish your investigation today and first thing in the morning you will leave. There's nothing to investigate here anyway. Yeah, you're suspicious as fuck. So we have an agreement. Yes. Great. See, there's no need to shout at each other. I agree. We should keep this civil. Right, well, you should have started it that way then. Now, can I ask you a few questions? Indeed, we should. What do you know about the girl and the necklace? Nothing much. Didn't even know about the alleged crime until I was called yesterday. Who called you? My silly husband, who thought he had everything under control. But I took the first plane to France and got here this morning. I wasn't here when the guests started leaving, by the way. Where were you prior to these events? I was having a nice massage at a wellness resort in Malibu. Would you like to check my alibi? I don't, give a, I don't give a shit, to be honest. If it's no problem. The resort is called the Golden Dawn. Oh, that doesn't sound like a cult. Uh, something to do with a cult at all. Nothing to do with a cult at all, that. I'm a regular there. I'm sure you are. I happened to notice some boxes that arrived yesterday. One box fell on the floor and cracked open. I noticed an Egyptian artifact. Did the box crack open? You have quite an eye, detective. Yes, those were my tablets. I won them at an auction. And I have all the necessary papers to prove my ownership. You have them? Here? Yes, I presumed you might find the boxes interesting if you happen to stumble upon them. How perceptive, Mrs Greenleaf. So what are those tablets? Just decor, Detective. I'm an avid fan of Egyptian culture and I wanted to have those tablets for decoration around my pool. What's written on them? Your pool? Rich people? But you didn't answer my question about what's written on them. They described an ancient ritual in which souls are brought back from the dead. They're very valuable. Do you plan to um, use them? Don't be ridiculous. There's no such things as magic. But you must admit, a resurrection spell might come in handy. 
especially if you're a sorceress. Don't be immature, detective. I have no time for these games. Do you have anything reasonable to ask me? Can I speak to your husband? He's not in the hotel. He had some urgent business to attend to in Paris. Well, now that's interesting. Because the, the butler didn't say that. What kind of business? He needs to pay the hotel's yearly taxes. Are they not just in the bank account? Do you not just... He had to pay them now? It's convenient. I'm not sure what you're implying, detective. He'll be back in two days. If you wish to speak to him, go to Paris and contact his lawyer. He'll set up a meeting. About this hotel and its ghosts. Did he ever mention something about ghosts in the hotel? Don't mind him. That's his way of uh, boosting the hotel's reputation. He believes that ghost stories are good for attracting guests. Here, this game is really quiet. I think I'm going to have to put some kind of music on in the background. But then again, when it... Let's see, the trouble is if I do that... I don't know, let's have something relatively quiet. What kind of thing would be good? Maybe some sort of mysterious... Uh, suspense. I don't know if you'll be able to hear the music's the only thing. Uh, I just need to get the volume and the music adjusted a little bit. Oh, come on. Yeah, let's just... We'll put that about there. Right. I don't. Let me know if you, if you can hear the music. If you can't, let me know as well. That's probably more important. Right. you never seen a ghost around here. Aha, detective, you can't be serious. There are no such things as ghosts. Why, did you see one? No, I mean, no. Of course not. Is there anything else you need, detective? Uh, no thank you f No. Thank you for your patience. It should be no thank you for your patience, Mrs. Greenleaf. Sarcasm, that's good. I like that in person. Goodbye, detective. I assume she means in a person. Not in person. Anything about that we can have? Oh, there's some napkins. Hmm. Wait, what's that? A cleaning agent. Ooh. Could probably use it to clean something, I guess. You look, there's like a strategy guide thing there. There's that lad, we spoke to him already. Let's see if there's anything interesting outside. There was a new place, wasn't there? There was a door, or there wasn't a new place, but there's a room, there's an area that we still haven't managed to get to on the right. This music might be a bit much, isn't it? Yeah, it's letting us go there now. It said it was locked before. Oh, hello. You dare lie to me? I bet she's got a mime in here. I swear to you, Mistress Atia, I'm not lying. The boxes weren't open at any at any moment. I believe you, Cretan. Nice. Now tell me, what the second package? Did anyone see you bring it in? No, Mistress. The package is safe and locked in the boiler room, just like you ordered. That's where we're going now. I think he's a mime, but he doesn't look like one there, does he? Good. We don't need another incident like the tablets. Did you follow my instructions about the lock? To the word, beloved Mistress Atia, I would never dishonour you. Atia's pleased. Now get lost before that detective sees you. She's speaking about herself in the third person as well. I've been honoured to be in your presence, Mistress. Fucking weird guy. Talk about weird, ghosts, Egyptian tablets, and now this. I have to find that boiler room before I finish my investigation. I need to find out more about this Atia Greenleaf. Right, so what have we got around here? An astrology book, something about ancient Egyptian astrology methods and research. I think they were reading this before I got in here. Interesting. A flashlight, I'll have that. A torch. And what else do we have here? What's this? A chair. Oh, hello. Got like a weird globe. What are we supposed to do with this, I wonder? That, they look about the same. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, there we go. I love riddles, not to sound too modest, but I'm just good at these things. And what have we here? The same type of blue crystal I found earlier. We got a blue crystal. Isn't that good? What else do we have? Oh, astrology books. Let's have a look at some astrology books. There we go. Um, see what there is around. Oh, there's something. A uh, parchment. Can we look at it? Some parts are missing. Oh, another parchment. I'll have that one. I guess we just scan all the shelves to find... There's another one there, actually. I can see it. And that's one. There's one. Is that one? Yeah, that's one. One here. Oh, and there's one there. Absolutely impossible. That's not going to work. Oh, good. So what do I need to do about that? Can I put them somewhere? Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That works. Drag this down for a minute. Does that bit go there, do you think? I mean, it looks like it should, but everything's rotatable, so... Oh, hello. That definitely fits into that one. Looks like that fits there. I was going to say that looks like it fits there. Oh no, it does. Okay, that's fine. I would say that goes in there. Just looks about right. Oh, well, that looks like it goes in. Well, it looked like it went in there, but I'm not so sure now. I would think that goes there, surely. Oh, well, that's like a sun, and there's a sun in the middle already, so. Oh, there we go. Uh, what are the other bits we've got? Right, presumably that needs to be rotated like that. What is this? That looks like it. Is that not right? Maybe it maybe it's upside down or something? Wait. Let's try it. Let's turn everything basically up. The other way up. And then, I guess, start from the other side. Because those definitely fit together. So if that's the case, that's going to go on the bottom left instead. Oh yeah, look, that actually clicked into place there. So if that's the case, this goes here. Oh yeah, there we go. So they're clicking into place instead of... That bit goes there. Yes. Nice and easy. No problem at all for this, really. Once I got it the right way up, anyway. Uh, where did I think that goes? Uh, wait for that one. Oh yeah, this is the right-hand side, surely. That goes there. Uh, easy. Solved it. No bother at all. Bingo! Well, I have no idea what it is. But at least I know something. Hmm. What does it describe it as? An old astrology map. Hmm. It's got coloured dots on it as well for, what's that, Saturn? Neptune? Can't read what the other two are. But we've got Pluto out there. To... I was going to say, is that maybe two out from there, so it'd be Mercury? No. Venus? And that's Mercury? Is this Ceres, is it? 
There's no specific... Yeah, so these could be... Oh, I don't know, actually. It's interesting. It's interesting. Anyway, let's try and see if we can find out where that boiler room is. And I have a suspicion that there's also something interesting upstairs where that uh, statue was, because we got another one of these. That is not where I wanted to go. Yeah, this is where I wanted to go. Let's go try putting the other eye in and see what happens. Can she not go there? That's odd. Okay, but fair enough. No double clicking to get to the place again for some reason. Not that I care. Hello. Here's your other eye, Luke. What does that do for me? What does this do for me? No, it's opened a secret Scooby Doo door or something. There's a further passage. I'll have your mace, mate. Cheers. It's a shield. It's dirty and rusted. Mm. Well, we've got these things that we can clean with. Something written on the shield. Let's take a closer look. For years I wondered, for years I praised the Lord, till he sent me a maiden of brown eyes and skin, pale as bone, and in your garden of bloom, till death do us part. In holy vow stand you and I, and many years since then still I yearn for your touch, my fair love. I shall watch over you even after I die. <laughs> well, yeah, that's nice. What do we have around here? Oh, a plank. Right, well, I assume I've got to use the plank to cross that. Yeah, there we go. And we'll move on to the further passage. What else do we have here? Oh, there's like swords, Luke, sticking out. An iron wedge. I love that. An iron wedge. What's this? A contraption. Oh, hello. A puzzle. Oh, I can move that. All oh, right, I'll see. I see. Why, why is that not sliding across any further? I see. It's one of these where you slide the thing around. Well, that one's movable. I wonder. Surely that should do it. I would think. That wasn't a difficult thing to deal with. What did that do for me? Oh, look, it took away the swords. It took away the swords. What do we have here now? We've got... Okay, do I have anything to... Oh, smash them with the mace, probably. Smash, smash, smash. Like, nobody's going to know. So what's this? Do you think this could have something to do with that that what was written on that shield? Maybe. For years I wondered, for years I praise the Lord, till he sent me a maiden. Let's say these are I would say these are three. I don't know. Rise and skin pale as bone. Well, I don't know. Is this yeah, because these don't these aren't these don't really matter, I would have thought. He sent me a maiden. Skin pale as bone. Garden of Bloom. Sorry, just a sec. I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing what this... Let's just look, put down words, right? Lord. Maiden. Bone. Bloom. I'm just thinking these are things like flowers and... Uh, let's... None of the rest of those are love and die, maybe, but none of the rest of those are maybe. So I'm trying to find things that might do. It might not even have anything to do with it, but it seems like all this is supposed to be symbolic. Let's have a look. Is that a woman? Do you think? That's a bone. What did I say? Bloom. 
There's nothing that looks like the, the Lord. Well, I suppose that might. Is it worth trying that? Bone. No. Maiden. Bone. Bloom. I suppose that might signify love. Then again, that might signify die. Let's try that. Oh, there it is. Okay. Another secret passage! My god, I love this place! The wall just broke down. Is that what we wanted? Ooh, look, it's one of these big chesty things. It's called a chest, I think. Terrible thing to say. What's this? Welding tools. A welding torch just sitting in the place. And there's a crowbar. Boiler gauge. Okay. Better not touch this. It's already at really high pressure. One wrong turn and we all meet our creator. You've met them before, haven't you? Right, so what are we want to do? Look at this thing. It looks almost like a coffin, but it's chained. Do they keep an evil monster inside? Well, let's open it up and find out. Welding tools on the uh, on the the chains, right? Surely. Oh, -ho. and then the crowbar to open it up fully. Of course. And what's in it? It's a sarcophagus. Some sort of obscure mechanism, maybe a device to unlock the sarcophagus. I have no idea how it works. It's got a sun in the middle of it. I wonder. Can I use that on it? What would happen if I... I don't think so. Does that maybe correspond to the... Ah. Now that's interesting. So on the first ring, it's red. I think. No, what? I mean, I'm guessing these. Uh, blue is kind of there. That's probably about right, actually. What's the third one? Yellow. Uh, that's that's straight across from it, so that's in the right place. green one looks like it's opposite the red one. One. Uh, oh no, not that. No. So that's probably about right for that. And the pink one. Let's try something. I don't, I don't think the pink one was that way, is it? It's the other way. Down there. Where's this one? Excuse me, I want to move this one. Let's try. Can't get it to go the other way, this one. Well, now I can. Can it only go clockwise? What's. Look, I can't. I can't get it to go the other way. That's weird. No, don't do that. Ah, I kind of did it and then, oh wait. Oh, hello, is that it? It's a mummy, well, now I can say I've lived. This can't be legal. If it's not legal, then my investigation's definitely not over. Oh, well, you know what we have to do though. Send a picture to our friend. That This must be a pretty exclusive photo, too bad I can't sell it. Why not? 
Why can't I sell it? Let's get the hell out of here before someone finds us, eh? Just get right out of here. Get in your room and hide. We're safe! Now let's just send that photograph to our friend. I think we're probably safe enough anyway. But maybe that mummy's going to come to life. Ow. Now I wait. Hope Javi gets back to me soon. Right, let's see who else is about, shall we? Alright, pal. Excuse me, can I ask you a few questions? Certainly, what do you wish to know? Do you have the travel records here? Yes. Do you keep track of Mrs. Greenleaf's expenses? Where was she and when did she arrive? Yes, we have a bill from the resort and her airplane ticket to Paris for yesterday morning. Yesterday morning? That can't be right. I saw her arrive this morning. Is it possible she arrived at the hotel yesterday and you didn't see her? Not possible, Detective. Not possible. Unless she went... Well, you seem undecided. Is there a chance she arrived yesterday? It's possible. There's a back entrance near the boiler room, but the lock's broken. And it's been broken for more than ten years. Why wasn't it fixed? Mrs. Greenleaf insisted we leave that exit sealed, did she now? You don't see anything Egyptian around here lately? Egyptian? No, nothing like that. Nothing big, that is. I know Mrs. Uh, Greenleaf's an avid fan and likes to collect things from Egypt, but nothing more than a few necklaces or paintings. Did she mention where her husband went? No, I saw him drinking gin and tonic in the bar last night before I went to bed. Was there anyone else? Yes, Inspector Matisse was there, reading and drinking his scotch. Well, that's exciting. I guess. Oh, email. Let's go back then. Sorry, excuse me. Got to go back to my room for a minute, you see. Because this might be something important. Uh, Javi salutes you. This must be the best thing you've ever sent me to analyse. An actual mummy. So this is the story. Thanks to the Royal Seal and the state of the bandages in the mummy, I managed to pinpoint its location. The weird thing is, this isn't something new. Well, obviously not. It's a fucking ancient mummy. This anonymous mummy was found in the late 50s and transported to the London Museum of Arts and Craftsmanship. You must be wondering what a mummy like him is doing in a place like that. The answer is rather simple. It's never been identified, so they treated it like a second-class artefact. Now, the peculiar thing is that this mummy went missing two years ago. No traces of burglary, no broken locks. Seems like someone took mighty precautions to make sure no trace of him remained. Ooh. Don't be afraid. I'm here to... Who, what, who the fuck's this? Veronica? Or is she the coma girl? I'm not afraid, and I know you. Why do I know you? You saw me in a picture. I was the girl in a coma. Was? You woke up? Aye. Yeah, she woke up, mate. She's got bloody lights flickering all around her. She woke up. Not exactly. I'm dead now. What happened? She died. I was murdered by her vermin. What are you talking about? Who killed you? That guy. She did. Atia. But that's not important now. What do you mean, not important? I should go and arrest her this instant! You will do no such thing. You must listen to me. This is bigger than your case or my murder. You were murdered. Nothing can be more important than that. Listen, I haven't got much time. You have to visit my sister at the Templar graveyard. Templars? She was expecting me to report, but now she thinks I failed. Well, because you're dead. Failed what? Failed to stop Atia, but we're not finished. You can help us, I see it clearly. You have the ability to stop Atia. I don't understand what ability. I can arrest her. You can't arrest a woman like her. She has power and connections. Even if you did, she'd be free in a heartbeat. Besides, there's no proof that I was murdered. Her goons made it look like an accident. What am I supposed to do now? Just follow you blindly? You'll have to make a leap of faith. Is this Assassin's Creed? We've got Templars making leaps of faith. Trust me when I say this, you can't deal with Atia now. You need to visit my sister at the graveyard. I'm prepared to go there, but you need to give me some answers first. Very well, but time's limited. This form takes a lot of energy to project. What are you? How are you able to manifest as a ghost? This soil is my birth ground. I was raised here, and I learned the ways of magic here. When I died, my soul came back to this soil, to be one with it. One with the earth? Yes, and while I'm still able, I can focus and project myself as a ghost to you. Who are you really? My name's Veronica. My sister Teresa and I are family descendants of the Roman Brutus. What? 
We're part of an organization called the Apotecari, and we protect the Earth from all kinds of evil that threatens the survival of humanity. Sounds like a big organization. It is. It spans all continents and employs many special people. Special like you, Biggie. What are you talking about? I'm not special. You're special. So special. That's the reason you need to visit my sister. I promise you she'll give you all the answers. If your organization's so big, why did nobody come to help you? This Atia matter, this is more personal. We requested to deal with her alone. Seems you were wrong to desire that. Perhaps, but my death is not in vain. I met you. Stop saying that, I'm not special. My investigation at the hotel's done. I'll go meet your sister, and when I gather enough clues to prosecute, I'll return and arrest Mrs. Greenleaf. Thank you for listening to me. Is that all? Care to tell me about the mummy in the boiler room? Akash is here? You must hurry then. Who is Akash? We have no time. If his body's here, the ritual's nearly ready to commence. What ritual? Atia is the head priestess of an ancient Egyptian cult. They intend to bring back Akash. The head priest and leader of the cult. He's their god, and it's said he was par a powerful wizard in old Egypt. This is too much. I'm not sure I believe this. I told you it's a leap of faith. In any other circumstances, we'd approach the situation more delicately. You were planning to contact me? We saw your file, Detective. We've been waiting. Watching you for some time. Wait, you're telling me my boss knew? Yes, we work very closely with all police agencies around the globe. Besides, Sam McLeod is a family friend. He knew my father. Why didn't he tell me anything? There was no time, and you wouldn't have believed us anyway. This way was better. How can this be better? You're dead. Nobody ever really dies. We just change states. I can hardly argue. Well, okay. Let's stop Atty and her cult. Yes, you'll find Teresa at the Templar graveyard. Goodbye. Goodbye, and well, thank you. Absolutely no idea what we're doing right now. I'm gonna save my game. This is turning into some kind of uh, in some kind of Assassin's Creed style mystery with I don't know evil people. All right, pal. Can I ask you something in confidence? Please do, I won't say a word. It's nice to have someone I can trust. I hope you're able to resolve this matter. I love this hotel, and I'll have to leave if circumstances don't improve. I'll do my best. Can you tell me the way to the cemetery? The old Templar Cemetery? Yes. Follow the road, take the first left. It's an old de dirt road. Don't be afraid, you can't get lost. Walk about 30 minutes along the path that will lead directly to an abandoned village. The cemetery is just north of the main square. Thank you. Tell Mrs. Greenleaf that I left for Paris. I will. Goodbye, miss. Well, that's interesting. Oh, hello. Matisse is here. Alright, mate, I thought you were going home. Still here. I could ask you the same thing. Well, I'm just about to leave. What about you? A bit later after I finish my paperwork. I see. Well, do you have anything else to bother me about? Did you check the alibi of Mrs. Greenleaf? Of course, everything checks out. She flew in by plane during the night and arrived at the hotel this morning. During the night? Are you sure? Are you implying something, Detective? Nothing, nothing. Glad everything checks out. Thank you, Inspector. Goodbye. Okay, so what's all that about? Is he a cult member, do you think? Because she really wanted him. She Apparently, what's her name, Atia, really wanted him to come along. Of all the possible people. Well, let's go see if we can find this graveyard. I can't double click, I have to wait for her to walk very slowly to there. We're loading a location, I guess. Is this. Well, let's approach the village. Well, what's that? A bucket! A bucket! Don't turn around until you picked up the bucket! Anything else to see before I will go wandering up there? Looks like that's all. Hmm. We've got houses, abandoned houses. Let's go over here. See what's in this one. Here, there's something interesting. Oh, there's a ladder. She likes sticking ladders in her pocket, so we'll have one of them. 
Uh, what's over here? Nothing, nothing. Oh, something's over there. A stethoscope part. Do we need a stethoscope for something? Don't really know. Let's go upstairs. Because we can. Oh, there's another stethoscope part. Let's have that. Have we got enough to make a full stethoscope now? Anything else in here? Something else. Oh, hello. Another stethoscope. Why do we need a stethoscope? Are we going to start? Are we going to like have to crack a safe or something? What's what's that all about? All right, but so I should be able to go pop, pop, stethoscope. Not parts of a stethoscope, just a stethoscope. There we go. Let's try this house. See if there's anything in there of interest. A cup. There's a bit of rope. Well, you always need rope in these games. If you see a bit of rope, try picking it up. Oh, wooden cover. It's a trap door, isn't it? Nice. Where does this take me? A safe. I knew it. I had a suspicion that that would be why we had that, right? It had to be, really, didn't it? Hey, what? Wait, go out again. Because like, I don't know whether that message was, uh, was right or not. Hmm. Oh, there we go. And here I click. That one. Safe cracking's easy enough. No, in the game, I mean. Oh, there we go. How many times did he do this, do you think? That's three. I see, we just try the door after every one. So if I had more time, I'd inspect, I'd inspect them. Let's have the compass. Just documents. All we're picking up, there's a compass. Is that all? That seems a bit... Okay, well, fine. Now I wonder, we've got a bucket and a bit of rope. And a well, uh, surely. Surely there's something down there. What is it we'll get? Just some water, maybe. Or will there be something in it? There's no way I would drink it, but at least I've got some water now. What do you need it for? Just a bucket of water. That's nice. Isn't it? No way to go there. Yeah, so we can only go there. Okay. Is that music getting a bit annoying? I don't know. Uh... So I guess we'll head to this graveyard then. Oh, hello. That'll be Teresa. Or whatever her name is. Right, I'm going to save my game. I just need to take a very quick break. I'll be back in just a minute. So, yeah, just leave the game like that. Oh, I'll be back in just a minute. See you shortly.
Hello. Oh. I've got out of focus. Let me just adjust that. I bet it's gone into auto focus again. Alright, it has. And it's put the focus way up. I don't know why it's put it up that high. That's better. That was annoying. But there we go. Let's get on with this. So here we go. Let's chat to her. Come a long way to see you. Is it that long? Welcome to the old Templar Cemetery. My name's Teresa and I'll be your guide for the day. What are you, I? Is that some kind of joke? Your sister's dead. She's been killed and you're, you're making jokes. She told you to come here, I presume. Wait, you know? I also know she's not dead. She's just, uh, how should I put it? Ascended to another state. So she's dead. What does that mean? Who are you people? We're members of a group called the Apothecary. Yeah, she told me that. Yeah, she told me about your shadow organization. I'm still not sure I believe all that conspiracy crap. For all the evidence you've witnessed, you still doubt. Look, give me something. Tell me a believable story. I need to find some sense in all this. Very well, but time's in short supply, so we'll have to hurry this history lesson. As far as I understand, you need my help. So I demand that you stop all the gibberish and come clean. Tell me everything or I leave for good. As you wish. Who are the apothecary? What do you know about us? Nothing. Up until Veronica mentioned you, I didn't know anything. Even now all I know is that the Apothecary are an organisation that wants to protect the world from evil. Essentially, yes. But reality is far less romantic. We're a global corporation that's existed since the Roman Empire. Corporations in ancient Rome? Back then we were a guild of warriors. Since then, depending on the governments through the centuries, sometimes we've become a shadow organisation and other times we've been an official military branch. What does your name mean? Apothecary, right? At first, our organisation was a military powerhouse, even in those ancient times. We had the biggest guild of merchants under us, who were keeping the store safe. That's the meaning? Storekeepers? Yes, and in those times our store was Rome. Now it's the whole world. These are volatile days. And the end's approaching. I know that quote. My boss used to tell me that. Ah, good old Sam. What do you know about Sam McLeod? He... We used to work together, but then he decided to get out and start working for the police. We remained really good friends and we tried to stay in contact. So he knew about this? Yes, it was his idea to involve you. He thought this assignment would help you regain balance in your life. You know? About your past? Yes, Sam gave me the files. Don't worry, I understand what you did. Now is the time for you to understand it. Aren't you upset your sister's dead? That's a simple question. No, because she's not dead. Nothing ever dies, especially not in this place. You'll have to elaborate on that. Don't worry about that, you're going to see her again soon. Veronica? Yes, in this place she can, shall we say, exist. This is the crossroad of a specific type of energy. All of the great apothecary have been buried here. That way they can continue to talk to us and consult us in times of need. But her body's not here. It's in a hospital in Paris. Veronica's not like us. As a child she would willingly enter the other side. She was raised in these hills by the greatest minds who ever lived. You mean ghosts raised her? Who better than Newton to teach physics? I see, interesting. Even if I ignore the fact that his teachings must be quite outdated. As I said, you'll talk to her soon, and then you can ask her anything. Who is Atia, really? Atia is all about the ancient wage. She's somewhat ancient herself, at least 150. 150 years old? Those are only the documented years. Who knows how many years she lived before that. Are you saying she's immortal? Of course not. Everything dies and she's no exception. She's just a bit more resilient than the average human. Oh good. How is it possible for her to be so old? Oh we know, but that's something I can't share with you. Let's just say you don't have the necessary privileges. Rules are rules, eh? Unfortunately so, but the good thing is she can die like anyone else. Except from old age, that is. Yeah, so she is immortal then. Perfectly normal. Who or what is the mummy? Veronica told me he's here. The mummified remains you saw are of an old god called Ak Ash. A god? Originally a human who gained power over matter and claimed he could not be killed. In those times, that would equal a god. But you managed to kill it. We took away the source of his power. The Grail. You mean, THE Grail? 
There are many legendary grails in different cultures, but only one is THE Grail, and you can use it again to stop the ritual that will raise a cache. You don't have the Grail, right? Otherwise you'd have stopped Atia by now. Atia has it. Because of her longevity, she's not fully human anymore, so she can't use the Grail herself. But she can use it to revive a cache and give him back his powers. So what's the deal? You stopped him once, you can do it again. I'm going to put this music off in the background. Because the game has music. This is different. This ritual will not only give him his old powers, it'll also bind the Grail to him permanently. The Grail will meld into his body. They'll become one. Will they? And then he'll be unstoppable. <laughs> Correct. That's why you have to stop the ritual and recover the Grail. That's it. Nothing more comes to mind. Now it's my turn. You have all the answers. Do you want to help us stop them? I do, but somehow I don't expect it'll be easy. It won't. These are powerful. They use powerful magic in their rituals. Everyone who comes in contact with them during the ritual can be turned to their side. Like mind control. More like insert an ancient tormented soul from an Egyptian slave into your body kind of control. Oh, right. I see. What am I supposed to do now? You must become one of us. One of us. One of us. How do I do that? Is there some sort of admittance exam? You could see this as a test. I prefer to call them tasks. You have three tasks to complete, all commonly named by those qualities that make us human. I'm not sure I understand. Three tasks are named Wisdom, Love and Truth. My job is to point you where wisdom lies, and after that, you're on your own. Can I fail? Yes, but remember, if you fail, we all fail, and centuries of preparation will be lost. Oh, no pressure then, eh? Great, so no pressure at all. Save the world, pass some tests, destroy the mummy, or walk in the park. First task is wisdom. You have to find the king in the church, and then accept the king gift of wisdom from him. That's all? Go, be on your way. We'll meet again soon. I thought she was giving me a tour. Right, is there anything around here before we... Oh yeah, there's something. What is it, just a rock? It's a rock with like a rune on it. Okay, well, let's go in here. Oh, there's another one. Which I assume it is. Yes, a strange white stone with a symbol on it. What's this? An old church doesn't look too joyful anymore. What's with the door? The entrance has been sealed. Ooh. So what are we supposed to do there then, I wonder? we we'll probably have to take a wander about, I think. Let's go up this way first. We have to go in this church somehow eventually, but I'll go this way first. Hmm. I'll close the inventory so we can see everything. Oh, is that another one of them? It's easy to find, at least. A different symbol on that one. Okay, is that it? Looks like that's all. The only option now is to walk back to the church. Hmm. Well, let's try this way then. Go behind the church. Ooh. What do we have here? Was oh, that another one? A load of stones. Oh, a hole in the wall just popped up for a second. Another rune stone or whatever. Hmm, a hole. I wonder if I could get inside somehow. Unfortunately, it's too high to climb. You have a ladder. I saw it. You have a ladder. So we had to go into this church. That was the... Good, I hope it'll hold my weight. It doesn't look very stable. And yeah, we picked it up before. Oh, ho. What do we have here? More lion heads, they're all over the place, around the castle, even here. Something tells me the hotel keepsake is not just a random souvenir. Anything? Oh, there's another one of those stones in the shadows. Ugh. Shall we have a look and see what that one is? Okay. Any more of those? Don't know. Let's see about this thing. Okay, there's an altar with candles on it. Uh, light those. Ooh, and that, ah, ooh, ah. And that symbol goes there. And that symbol goes there. Nice and easy, it tells me exactly where everything's going, so. Assuming that's right, I mean, I'm just guessing it is. So what does that do? Does that do something? What does that do? 
Oh, well, she said something about the lion, didn't she? Maybe that goes there. What's happening? There's a light. Right, so what are we supposed to do with that? Can rotate the light. Well, what's that on the floor there? There's like a. There was like a symbol there. It's doing something. Something's happening. Oh, yeah, look. Well, Dr. Jones, what do you think of this? Not bad for a city girl, right? It's like that scene. Wasn't it? Was, in, was that in. Um... Was it in Indiana Jones, wasn't it? What do we have here? What is this? Some kind of puzzle. A water tank, something that looks like one. Right. So I've got to, oh, I guess I've got to make a path that goes... Does these turn? A path that goes there? How do you, what do you do with these? There doesn't seem to be anything that we can do with them. Oh, but wait, it needs water, right? Aha! Right, so... The only way that can go through is this way. Um, that looks okay. Probably want it to be that way. Let me see. Yeah, and then that turns that way. The only way that can go is up. There we go. Oh. Well, that ain't gonna work, is it? There's only one real path you can take here. It looks like. Oh, hello. That was a piece of cake. That definitely was easy. And that was definitely easy. And what is this now? We're in a completely different place. Touch the light. Oh, hello, that must be the king. King Arthur. Whoa. Is this place real? Where am I? Welcome, young applicant. This is Avalon, and I am Arthur Pendragon. You seek the task of wisdom, am I correct? Uh, not the Arthur. One and the same. Sword in the stone, round table, and all those other famous legends that have grown over time. You seem quite the lively spirit. Lively? I like that. You could say I'm enjoying my eternity. But I especially like these little moments of teaching. So you're here just for me? I'm here for every soul that wishes to join our humble house of Apothecary. As your guide probably told you, you must perform three tasks before admission into the house. My task is the first one. So, wisdom, what do I have to do? You'll have to prove yourself wise. Very funny. Really, it's a simple task. All you have to do is find your way to me. I must now accept me as a friend. Okay, I did the first part flawlessly. As for the second part, well, you don't strike me as an evil bastard and you seem chatty. So, if you were bound here to stay, you would become my friend? Not if I was held captive against my will, but yeah, I don't see any problem with us being friends. Then accept this gift of wisdom from me. That's it, no blinding light or special effects. Young lady, you're in Avalon, a mystical dimension, and you met King Arthur. Do you really need to be more satisfied? Nah, not really, I suppose. I was just making a joke. Yeah, settle down. What can you tell me about the Grail? You gave it powers. You know it gave powers to Akash? Yes. That's its core. It can move mankind's mortal body to its next evolutionary step. Do you have any more questions? Well, the Grail, where does it come from? Centuries ago, when Ferris ruled Egypt, a fierce meteor a storm destroyed half of Memphis. Among those ruins, a young priest found a strange meteorite. That was Akash. Akash found the rock and managed to carve a grail from it. To this day, it remains a mystery why he carved it in that form. He used that very grail to become a god amongst humans. But with great power... Came great responsibility. What? No, don't interrupt me. Lady Brightstone is not polite. I'm sorry, please continue, sire. With great power came destruction. One night, a brigade of soldiers got lucky and managed to steal the grail before Akash could permanently damage Egypt and its surrounding countries. 
Then he was killed? In a manner of speaking, as soon as he lost his powers, the pharaoh found him and gave specific orders how to bind his soul for all eternity. So he thought. Sadly, that's proven to be a problem now. Why is that? Because there's another ritual that can still revive Akash and bind the Grail to him. Making them inseparable and indestructible. Indeed, milady. How did they get the Grail back? That is someone else's story. I can only tell you of the history. Or were you the keeper of the Grail? Are you the keeper of the Gert? One of many, but I'm here not because of my duties as a keeper, but as a king. I gave birth to the modern house of Apothecary. Before me, they were scattered in many small factions. And you fixed that. We became one entity popularly known as the Knights of the Round Table. Each knight has his own agenda in the Order. Together we formed the house of the Apothecary. But we're not talking about Camelot, because it's very silly there. And you managed to keep the Grail from falling into the wrong hands. It was our sacred duty. We were the Knights of the Order, and now we stand on the front line whenever circumstances start spilling out of control. I'd say this thing with Atia is escalating pretty quickly. Don't worry, Lady Brightstone. You are here, and you're in control. Everything will be fine. What should I do next? I'm not sure the task of love is next, and who knows who will help you understand that. Don't get the new test from you. Definitely not. Love is a strong emotion, and it governs many things. It's never stable, and never wise. So it could be anybody. Any suggestions where I should start? Try the cemetery. Sometimes lonely hearts are known to dwell there. Aye, alright mate, no worries. King Arthur, eh? Did we actually lift that ladder in with ourselves? So I guess we would come out now. No. That's behind the church. Well, there was stuff over here. There were. Aha, look! Veronica's here. Yes, that's me. So, what do you do now that you're well incorporeal? For starters, I'm required to observe lost souls and provide them with guidance. I knew that would be my role from the first time I stepped into the other realm. What do you call this other realm? Some people call it the Underworld. Some factions of our organization call it the Shadowlands. I like to define it as my dream world. You like it that much? Well, yes. But I choose to call it the dream world because it literally is that for me. I've been dreaming about this place for as long as I can remember. So what now? I've seen King Arthur and have accepted his teaching. Now it is time for the task of love. In a moment you will find yourself in a strange place. Another historical figure. Everybody around here is a historical figure. And yes, next you will meet Cleopatra. So Cleopatra's coming at you. Kind of cool. It is. Just relax. Here we go. There's Cleopatra, Luke. Welcome to my humble resting place. Who are you? My name is Biggie Brightstone, and if you'll forgive my bluntness, I'm seeking the test of love. Ah, an applicant for the apothecary. You're just who I need. You can surely help me, for my problem is all about love. What should I do? First you must find Mark Antony. You don't know where he is? If I knew, I wouldn't be here now. So where should I look? Any idea at all? A nearby path leads to the land of lost spirits. Only those not of the spirit realm can cross over there. Okay, I'll try to find him. What should I tell him when I find him? Just bring him back to me, please. That's all I ask. Here, have this. I'm sure you'll find need of it. Thank you, goodbye. What is it? A petrified snake eye. Oh yeah, that sounds good. So I guess we gotta go this way. Because that's the only way we can go. Who the fuck is this? Hello, young lady, are you lost? I was waiting for you. For me? Who are you, little girl? What if I told you that I'm deaf? The immortal spirit that helps souls cross over. But you're just a little girl. Don't watch movies. The scariest beings always come in childlike form. But you look and sound like an ordinary little girl. You even watch movies. 
The shell is my current choice. So let's start again. Perhaps I can help you. Why would death help me? Why not? Who sends you? Cleopatra sent me. Can you help me cross the bridge? Of course, but I'm not prepared to help you just because I can. You'll have to help me first, and I need proof of your last task. Of course, I can clearly see that the differences between our two worlds are getting blurrier every second. What do you need so that I can cross the bridge? You need to have the wisdom to distinguish between the lost souls and abandoned souls. I need a heart that can represent that wisdom. A heart, really. These are ancient rules we must obey because it's the way of nature, but it's not a real heart that I need. Not from belonging to anybody alive. Well, I've got wisdom. Where should I get a heart? I believe Arthur's playing games with you. You were supposed to get the heart from him after you completed the task of wisdom. Great. Okay, wait here and I'll be back. See you soon. Is that my fault or his? Absolute pain in the arse. What was he not giving me the thing for? Oi, Arthur, you prick. Where's the heart? What brings you back here? Weren't you supposed to give me something? I gave you wisdom and I granted you a pass for the next task. You are supposed to give me a heart. It is not a heart that can merely be handed over and I won't offer it just like that. You must at least be polite and ask. May I please have the heart so that I can complete the tasks ahead? It's a bit late for that. You should have asked during our previous conversation. I didn't know about the heart then. What is this? Some stupid game. Not a game, young lady, but remember that time has no meaning in this place. You should understand that. And these voices are going to do me in. So if I need the heart now, that means I already needed it when we first met. Simply look at the problem like this. You always needed the heart and have sought it from the beginning. This is making my head hurt. All right. If I always need the heart, and I've always been looking for it, that means I... It means you already have the heart, and simply didn't know until now. Hmm, I guess so. Just look deep down to your soul where one's true heart is always found. You'll see. You always had the heart you need, otherwise you wouldn't even be here. My pleasure teaching you, Lady Brightstone. Very well. Alright, fair enough. But I don't actually have anything. No, no, don't talk to her. What are you doing? Oh, no, I need to talk to her to get back, don't I? I need to go back. Sure, you're ready. Yes. Of course I am. There's nothing else to do. All right, listen here, you. You have it? I always had it with me. I just didn't think about it deeply enough. I'm glad. You're ready to cross over. Using this heart, you'll be able to see the person in need of your help. Got it. Thank you. One more thing. What is it? You'll have to help me with a problem. Observe. A problem. Oh, fuck off. What is this shit? You will have to do this. <laughs> so I've got to get this where? To the sun, probably. Uh, ah. I have to wait till that comes in, I guess, and then just immediately go to it. Let's see. Maybe these are things I have to... Do. Oh, no! I just fucked it up. Try it this way. Let's try this way just to see. That just appears and disappears. There's only one way I can go here. Now which way do I go? Do we go left? Wait. No. I go down, that gets me there. Can't do anything there. So I guess I go this way. Go down, that stops there. Ah, there we go. Right, wait. That one does go away. I thought for a minute it never went away. Oh, I've delayed, so I'm going to wait till it goes away. Sorry. Was that it? Is that... Is that... Is this it? Wonderful, thank you, Bridget. I won't forget this. Goodbye. Right, so now we've got two eyes. Oh no, we used that eye to... Right, okay. I thought we had a second eye out of doing that puzzle. Is that Mark Anthony, is it? Oh, sorry, I just need to... Oh. Well, let's do that. Let's get this thing, and then we'll fin probably finish up for 
My name is Biggie Brightstone and Cleopatra sent me here. Finally, someone came to help me. This separation was becoming unbearable. Relax, I'm here to help you. Tell me what happened between you and Cleopatra. Straight down to business, is it? I don't think it works that way. You'll have to empathize with me instead. How am I supposed to do that? I came to help you. Isn't that enough? You're here because of the tasks, right? Yes, but this is a task of love. You have to understand true love. Yet keep your wisdom in check so you never lose your objectivity. You're talking about control, isn't that the opposite of love? Yes, but it's also necessary if you want to live. Love is a powerful emotion. When you leave wisdom behind, love runs rampant. You become vulnerable that way, and anyone with a bit of power can abuse that. I think I understand a bit. You've never truly been in love. My nose is blocked. Hang on a sec. Okay, I've truly been in love. I don't think so. I've been, but I can never say I found my one true love. That's excellent. That means you use wisdom in your approach to love, and you know the feeling of love because you recognize the absence of it. So could you say I passed the test without even knowing I had one to pass? Perhaps, but not so fast. I still need you. All right, I need to help you. What's the problem? I managed to get separated from Cleopatra. At first I thought it was only temporary, but I was wrong. What happened? We were sent to guard the Grail. One night we got carried away with one of our arguments and someone managed to enter the Shadowland and steal it. Atia? Well, she has it now. It's likely she's the one who stole it in the first place. How did you Cleopatra get separated? She was blaming me for the Grail's loss and I was blaming her, so we started to argue. And then the next thing I knew, she was gone. So I threw away the ring. What happened next? I hoped to make peace with her, but I couldn't find her anymore because I lost it. It represented our bond in the afterlife. And now you can't find it? No. Wait here, I'll be back. Wait here, I'll be back. What? Let's go this way then. Ooh, what's this? The labyrinth. These black shadows are, I can't explain the feeling. It's cold and distant, dead. All of a sudden, I feel like I want to cry. Right, so where am I supposed to go now? Speak to her, see if she has any idea about this labyrinth. Do you know where Mark Anthony's ring in is? The ring is long lost, but can be found in the labyrinth of abandoned souls. That doesn't sound like a place I'd want to go. You better not go in there as you are. Shadows of the darkness dwelling there are not exactly what we would call friendly. What should I do? Is it possible to retrieve the ring? Maybe you could help. I can't personally help, but if you could discover a historical artifact of great glory and valour, you could use it to disperse the dark shadows of the labyrinth. Oh, uh, Excalibur, maybe. I found such a thing. Think. Excalibur. Back to King Arthur. Here, mate, I need to borrow your sword. Sorry to disturb you. You wonder if you can borrow my sword of light to disperse the dark shadows of the labyrinth. Um, yeah, I guess so. I, I know. Take it freely. Just take it, just like that. Yes. Time's running out. You must do it now. I'll return when I'm done. No need to bother. It'll come back to me on its own. Of course it will. That is Avalon, yeah, and we want the sword, not Avalon. Excalibur, I can't believe this is happening. Neither can I, let's get out of here. Okay, gotta go back now. Send me back! Sure you're ready. She says, I need to go back there. Are you ready? Well, I just, I just asked if I could go back there. Right, so over here, what did I just use Excalibur on this maze? Maybe. Right, so what am I doing? There I am, and the ring's there. Right. Go left. No? Oh, wait. The left, maybe. Just stick to the left. Hug the left. That's what you do, right? Oh, are you kidding me? I can't get the bottom one because the inventory pops up. Oh, I can. It's just okay. Hug the left. 
So they say, oh no, that didn't work. But I see another, oh. I see another path there. Stick to the left is usually, you know, left hand walls is usually the suggested tactic for getting through mazes. Until eventually you get to the right place. Right, I can see that's not going to take me there. So stick to the left hand wall. That would mean down here. That way up. Keep going up. Not that, not that one to the right because it's blocked off. Not there, but then if we keep that stick to the wall on the left hand side, we'd be going this way. Follow that. Follow that. I can see that one's a dead end, so we'll go this way. Up, right, down. Well, that way's a dead end as well, so we'll go this way. Looks like we should make it, I think. Uh, up here. That's pretty much the tactic for mazes. Uh, until you come across a dead end like that. Right, but I think we're probably pretty much on the right track. Pretty much. Yeah, that way. That's a dead end. Oh yeah, so here, and then we'll go right. Surely that's the end. Ah, we got the ring. Find your ring, mate. Don't lose it again. There's your ring. Why would they want this? Because he fucking asked for it! Find the ring. You did it, thank you, you were in your debt, and now we must return immediately to Cleopatra. Okay. Yay, they're reunited. Reunited. I've returned. Finally, I've been waiting ages, you silly man. Next time, try throwing a stone. Yes. Thank you, you've completed the task of love and earned our friendship. From now on, whenever you're in desperate need, just call my name and I'll help you. Cleopatra. No. What do you know about the mummy? Akash? She lived before my time as a high priest of Egypt, but I know the ritual performed on him very well. Why is it so special? Because the most essential part is an unspeakable curse. Everyone who performed it on Akash to prevent him from entering the underworld died. Is Atia going to repeat it? Not the same ritual, they need the reversed form. I'll stop them, I can feel it in my future. Don't rely too much on what you feel here. As soon as you enter your world again, you'll be back in the present, not knowing what could change the outcome of a future you sense now. Nothing's ever easy around here. Do you have any more questions? What do you know about my last task? The truth. Not much, but I can tell you this. Truth always completes a full circle. Perhaps the one who started you on this journey will be the same one to finish it. You mean Teresa? Perhaps. Now I wish you luck and farewell. You understand, don't you? I need to speak with Mark in private. Oh, of course. I apologise. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right, I'm going to save my game. I'm going to finish off here for now. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm going to disappear. Back tomorrow for, well, tomorrow it will be a, a watch party. And basically I'm going through my watch list from beginning to end, I think, because I've got quite a lot of films on there. Um, but I'm not too sure... I removed that one because it looked rubbish. I'm just trying to look and see what the films are that I'll end up uh, watching. That can't be too long. Well, we'll decide that. We'll decide that tomorrow. Uh, anyway, yes. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm going to finish up for tonight, and I'll be back tomorrow, as I say, uh, the usual time. And I hope you join me. And drop by and say hello if you want. Anyway, for now, that's me away. Good night.